welcome back Giants fans. You know this is Big Pass Sports Talk. You know I'm bring you the latest Giants news. And today we're going to be doing another new, another new little segment we call the Film Room. Where we do a little film study on our New York Giants players. And today's feature player is going to be Mr. Kadarius Tony, our first round pick, number 20. And I'm going to show you what this guy is going to bring to our offense and why Jason Garrett should open up this playbook. So let's get it. What's going on YouTube? What's going on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter? All platforms, you know this is Big Pat Sports Talk, where I'm going to talk my talk no matter what anybody thought. And today we're going to be going in the film session with Mr. Kadarius Tony, <clears throat> And I'm going to show you another new room in Big Pat Sports Talk Studios. It's called the Film Room. Yeah, I kind of like this, man. This is the Film Room, man. We're going to be going over Mr. Kadarius Tony and what he brings to the offense. So, we're going to get into this video. So, hope you enjoy. Now, I know it's a little foggy. That was the fog game at LSU. But we're going to go in the beginning, man. We're going to go over some film where he went against South Carolina. And we're going to show you what this guy brings to this offense and why Jared, Jason Garrett should open up this offense. Just letting you know, all these plays will not be in normal speed. We're going to slow them down so we can get into the actual film of Mr. Kadarius Tony. As you can see, he's highlighted here. He's in the slot. Three receiver set. Jay Pitt, uh, Kyle Pitts here. Shotgun. Kyle Trash. Let's get it. See this play here? He's in the slot. Always, always put him on these type of routes here. Always, always put Kadarius Tony on these type of routes. He's going to get separation. It's not too many people that can stay with his cuts. He's Tyreek Hill like in, the, in that area. See, he catches the ball here. Now, you think the play stops here? You think he stopped? You got a player here and a player here. He should be bracketed. But this is what this guy brings, man e excitement, electricity, strength. More strength than he should have at his size, but he's a tough guy. He's going to put his nose down. He's going to get yards. Watch what he does. Breaks off two tackles. Gets the first down. That's what this guy does, man. This is what this guy is going to bring to us. He's going to move the chains for us. Take you back on that. This is, this is an element that we don't have other than Saquon Barkley. Get it to him out in space very fast. Let him square up, breaks two tackles, gets us the first down. First down Gators, good play. All right here, you in a trip set. Pitts uh, singled out here to the right. And the trip set got him in a slot. That's, that should be Saquon Barkley there. But you got you to gotta put this guy in multiple positions on the field. You got to. See right there, quick outs. Man, that's easy. It's so easy. You have these guys clear out, have him on a maybe on a, a nine route or a deep comeback, have him on a deep dig or a post route. This could be Galladay down here one-on-one. -on -one. You never know. Saquon Barkley could be coming out the backfield. You got to open up this playbook, Garrett. But having him on routes like these, it may be simple. But these simple plays turn into first down. Ooh, good move there. Let me show you the move that he did there. When he catches this ball, this is the little subtle things that he does. As soon as he catches this ball, that little step right there makes him believe he's going to try to cut back. And he gets past him. This guy right here, he may be a safety or he may be a long, lanky linebacker. He's not going to be able to keep up with Kadarius Tony. He's just not. He's going to eat all day. Because he's so scared of him going to the inside. A quick route to the outside is done. One quick, quick settle movement. First down. Let's move the chains. Let's move the chains. All right. Now, 
what I tell Jason Gary has to do, you got to put this man in motion. You got to put him in motion. Put him in motion in the backfield. Quick out. Look, same guy. Same guy. I don't know if this guy's a safety or a long, lanky linebacker, but he cannot keep up with Kadarius Toney. He cannot keep up with him. He's burnt. Get a little bit better route from Mr. Trayvon Grimes. We all know about him, <laughs> Giants fans. I told you about him already, but this is about Kadarius Toney. A little bit better route, a little bit of route by Grimes. He might get into the end zone. But I will tell you this. He does have he does have that end where he tries to make a play all the time. Just just be, just sprint out. Just sprint. You're not gonna juke all three of these guys here. Just sprint out there and get us get us about three to four more yards. Just sprint. Don't stop and try to make a play. Don't stop there. Just sprint out. Cause you're not gonna be able to make the big play every time. Something that Saquon Barkley has to learn as well. When you're that talented, you think you could just make a play out of anything. And sometimes the best play is just to you know, run out of bounds sometimes. Avoid injury. Avoid unnecessary hits. He has to avoid things like this. I don't want to see him getting bracketed up by six people because he's trying to cut inside and make another play. Just go out of bounds sometimes. It's all right. We got the first down. We're good. Okay, here in another play. You got him in a sliding trips again. Jason Garrett, I want to see this. I want to see this offense spread out. You got a thing. That could be Galladay. That could be Ingram. That could be Tony. That could be Shepard. That could be Slayton. Open up this playbook. Got him in a slot, slot right here. Now, look at that route he just did. I think it's the same victim. <laughs> It's the same victim, man. He keep, man, this dude was getting victimized. <laughs> Can you imagine us getting a uh, getting a a victimization like this on the field on Sundays? Cause he can do it. He can do it all day. He can do it. But say that his route run is not up to par. Okay. Bing bing boom. I think that was a pretty good route right there, man. This dude's getting ready to fall. <laughs> That was a pretty dongo good route right there. Does he need to work on it? Yes, everybody needs to work on things, but let's not act like this guy can't run routes. Got him beat. Yes, that is number 10, the, the, the victim, the whole game. He was a victim. Got terrorized this game. And not only does he make the catch, look at the separation. Look at the separation. Gone. Kyle tries to throw it to him. Kyle, mad separation. Now look at the speed. Look at the speed. Look at the strength. Look at him fight through all those tackles. And you can't just arm tackle him. You can't just throw an elbow into him and think he's going to go down. He's not going to go down that easy. This guy, I love this guy, man. This guy's got heart, man. Look at that play one more time, man. Catches the ball, ultimate separation, number 10, victimized. Now look, he's running away from 10. Got away from another guy, two guys, three guys. Still running. Still running. Let's go. This is what this guy brings to us, man. If you want to see the play go over again, boom, look at him. Ankles crossed. Now look at him pull away. Look at him pull away from the guy from behind him. Now look, one, two, three, still didn't take him down. Six points. That's what this offense needs, man. That's what he brings. All right, here we go. A bunch set. Got him right here. Got him hidden a little bit. See what he does here. Uh-oh, quick handoff. Let's see what he does. One tackle. Slips. Boost through there. Look at that. Now, I'm a little disappointed here, but number 20 for Ole Miss is pretty doggone fast. Um, that guy has abnormal speed to be that tall. But look look what this guy brings to, to the table to us, man. Look what he brings. Little jet sweep, man. Just a little tiny jet sweep. 
hand it off to him. Breaks that tackle, brings force. This guy brings strength and force. Ready for contact. Breaks that tackle, stumbles, keeps his balance. Gets another way from another shoestring tackle. But unfortunately, he got ran down by number 20, who just has abnormal speed for his size. Got to get the TD right there, though, Tony. All right. Here goes another play. See him right there in the slot. Trask had enough time to spot him. I know he didn't get to see the route, but what he did is he stopped right here, faked like he was doing a curl. He saw Kyle Trask in the trouble. He broke loose and got open. Another big play. Two guys right there on him. Guess what he does? He gets off both of them. Show it to you again. Gets off two guys, gets extra yardage. That's what he does, man. He fights every play. That's what he does. All right. Got him for wide receiver set. This could be Ingram. That could be Slayton. That could be uh, Galladay. That could be Saquon Barkley. This could be Tony right here. And just to tell you, folks, he is going to get some snaps from Sterling Shepard. I'm sorry to say it, but he is. He's just that type of player. You got to get him on the field. Nice five receiver set here. Look at that route right there. It's little sudden things that he does, man. This is what these are, this is what weapons do. These are what playmakers do. Little subtle things. Bop bop. Got him off his feet. Got him off his balance. Now he's reaching and grabbing. It's too late. Tony's already away from you. Catches that ball there. Let's move the chains. Let's move the chains. Got enough speed. Almost broke loose from him. But let's move those chains. That's what he does, man. All right. This is a quick little play I just want to show, man. You get him. Just get him the ball in space. Just get him the ball in space. See what he does. Nice block from Grimes there. Gives us a quick first down, man. That's what he brings to the table. Okay, this is the LSU game. They got him right here in the slot. Get into his route. Boom, boom. Stuttered him. Stuttered him. Because you got to worry about him getting the quick break out, out breaking route. Or you got to worry about with the quick slant or the quick end or a quick dig. Man, you, you got to worry about this guy, man. You got you really don't know what this guy is going to do. Boom, boom. Set him up. Boom. Speed. Past you. Drop it in there. There you go. Good catch. That's what he brings to us, man. That's what he brings to us. That's what he's going to bring to us. All season, man, if, we, if Jason Garrett uses this guy correctly, he can be the ultimate weapon for us. Because you got to worry about him. Look at the DB. He's already giving him space. He's already giving him respect. Look at this guy. He's on him. He's on him. But he's not on Tony. They know what Tony can do. Look at that. Bing, bing. Oh, past you. Gone. He's gone. Lucky he had help over the top, or it might have been gone. Or uh, more of a pass leading him, he might have been gone. Who knows? Good play, Tony. Good throw, Trash, as well. All right. Got him in the trips out here in the slot here. Like I said, this could be Tony. This could be Galladay. This could be Shepard. This could be Ingram. This could be, uh, uh, let's see, running back, uh, Saquon Barkley. So it'll be like Tony. Ingram, Shepard, Galladay, Slayton. If you want to put Slayton out there. Let's see what he does. Got him a little inside right now. Look, this guy's already playing him to the inside. His whole job is to stop him from getting to the inside. This guy is to make the sure tackle if he breaks out to the outside. And he's supposed to stay over the top of this receiver. 
And then this is a one-on-one. This is a man-to-man. This is a man-to-man. That's a man-to-man. But they're playing a bracket coverage against Tony right here. And he's playing inside. And Tony still finds his way across this man's face. Hits him with a quick juke. Hits him with a quick juke. He just finds his way to the inside where he's supposed to be. Boom, boom. Hits him. Trash puts it on him. He catches it. Almost breaks a tackle. But just to show you the little subtle things that he does as well. And how they're going to start guarding him. And how we're going to be able to get one-on-one coverages. Just to show you. You see the bracket in him? These two right here are bracketing him. So that if this is Evan Ingram, that means he has a one-on-one with this guy. If this is a safety, Evan Ingram could beat him on the outside route, a deep nine outside route here, or deep post, or deep post corner. You can have him do a deep post here because with this guy focusing on him, Ingram could do a deep post. Slayton right here could do a quick slant if he wanted to because this guy has to go with the tight end. And so if this guy's not paying attention and Evan Ingram – Beats his man to a deep post. All you got to do is hope that this safety here is focusing on uh, Shepard or his double team and Galladay down here. Because if so, this whole area right here is going to be wide open. This whole area right here is going to be wide open. Now, if this is an Ed Reed or somebody, you might be in trouble because he was amazing. But a, a normal safety, he's not going to have the awareness to get all the way back over here. Then you got Slayton. What if you run a nine route with Slayton and he beats this man? That's a quick nine route right there. And the middle of the field is open. You can have Shepard do a pivot route and come out here and get a quick out and get a, a block by Galladay. And who knows, might be able to break something. Or if this guy gets routed up by Tony, look at all this uh, field right here to work with. But they did a bracket coverage here. But that's what he brings, man. You have to start doing unique coverages against our offense, not just a cover zero. And look at him always fighting. That excites me and scares me as well. All right, here we go. Look at this. Put him in the backfield at running back. Same thing we would have got if we would have signed Curtis Samuel. Same thing. I think he's a little bit better, though. You got Tony right here. Cuts through that hole. That's one tackle. Look at that. Two tackles. Look at his stumbles. Three tackles. Four tackles. Still running. Look at that play there, man. That's what this guy brings, man. And this is against LSU. This is not no... Georgia Southern or anybody like that or Division uh, 2 school. This is LSU. Previous champions. Put them quick in the backfield. Good block there. One tackle. Two tackles. Stumbles. Keeps his balance. Three tackles. Four tackles. Stumbling again. Keeping his balance again. Finally caught from behind after about 30 yards. Let's move the chains. Now field position is, is flipped in one play. That's what this man brings, man. That's what he brings. Got him in the backfield again. This used to be Deion Lewis. It could be Kadarius Tony now. Look at that. If Travis would have threw it earlier, it would have been a much bigger play. But look at him go up and get that ball. Is he going to be a guy that's going to go over the top of somebody and catch it every time? No. But he's going to give you extreme effort on every play. Look at him go up and grab that ball. Look at that. Takes the hit. Tough little guy. Gets up. Let's move the chains. You see a lot of these plays, man. The chains are moving, correct? Yeah, that's what he brings. Look at him in the backfield again. Now look. This may be a dime, so this may be a corner. But if we catch you in like a dime and this is the middle linebacker's responsibility, man, this is lunch all day. And even this is lunch with this guy. If that DB's not good, Tony's going to eat him alive. 
quick out routes every time. Works every time. Catch that ball. Uh oh. He's not in a good position to make a tackle. Get past him. Stumbles. Keeps his balance. Got enough speed to get away from the people. One guy missed. Made that guy miss in, the, in that little compound right there. That guy, that, man, he got juke so hard. <laughs> he like, damn, what the hell? Somebody get that bad. But that's that's what he brings, man. That little quick out route. That little mini quick out route. When he catches this ball, look where he catches this ball. He catches this ball at the... He catches his ball about the 42. So he went all the way from the 42. Got about got about 20 extra yards on there. That's crazy. That's what he brings, man. All right. See here, got him in a slot. Now, look at him get past those two guys there. This is LSU. Look at him get past those two guys. This is a route that we haven't seen in New York since Pat Shermer. Since Pat Shermer was, you know, bringing that route to the table. We just didn't have the personnel to get it done like the way he wanted to get it done. That's what he was doing with Stefan Diggs and people like that. I want you guys to focus on Kadarius Tony right there in the slot. He's bracketed between him and him. So whoever this linebacker is and whoever this safety is, Kadarius Tony is their objective. He's going to be guarding over the top, making sure Kadarius Tony doesn't blow him over the top. And he's supposed to guard the middle, make sure Kadarius Tony doesn't destroy him here in the middle. But guess what? Kadarius Tony has so much speed. He gets past number two. Look at that. It's separation anxiety already already right there. He's already separated from him. And this guy here, he's so he's so, he's faster than both these guys. So he just outruns them. Just outruns them to the corner. Look at that. Big play. Field position switch. We in the red zone. We at the 15. We at the 10 yard line. We ready to get points. One play. That's all it took. One play. That's all it took. Great route. That's what I'm saying. Jason Garrett has to open up this offense. Plays like this is going to open up everything, man. It's going to open up everything. Look at him take two men and beat two men at that. I love Shepard one-on-one in the slot. I love Slayton one-on-one out here at the top. You can do anything. If the, both these guys find out that they can carry this guy here and this guy is actually trying to bottle up Shepard from getting to the outside, boom. Deep dig. Slayton, beat your man here. Slayton, beat your man here and get to this area here and let Daniel Jones hit him. Because they're going to double cover Galladay down here. So these route concepts open up everything. Just to show you what the route concepts is, if you got him going on this here and they worried about Kadarius Tony so much, they bracketed him right here. So imagine if this was Ingram or Shepard. You take him and run a deep out. You take him and run a deep dig. And not even really a deep out. Get to about... Right here where, the, where, the, where this cornerback is standing and let Shepard put a move on him and go to the out route. You let Slayton run up on him like he's going deep and do a quick dig route. And Hugh and Kadarius Tony is clearing out these two guys. So th this whole field right here is a party. It's a party right there in the middle of the field. It's just that Kadarius Tony was so much better than these two guys. He actually outran them to the corner for the big play. But if he doesn't outrun him to the corner for the big play, we can get a 10, 15-yard dig route for the first down. You see, that's what, that was the concept they really had is this, this guy got bullied and didn't get to his route.
But those are the route concepts we can run now, man. This offense is loaded, man. Let's open up this playbook. Once again, here, four receivers set out here. He put two big Rudolph and Ingram and Galladay right there and just run a quick quick screen. Get some good blocks. We could get an easy, easy, quick touchdown. That's easy. We can run plays like that now. Uh, it's going to be a little foggy right here in this LSU game. But. As you can see, Kadarius Tony right here in the back in the backfield with a four receiver set. So it's really a five receiver set. Now look at him hand it off here. Look at the speed that Kadarius Tony has. This guy has contained, but he's just faster. He's just faster. He just outruns him. Look at the speed. Look at the ground he chews up. I know it's hard to see with the fog. I apologize. This is the view they gave us, but that was a 25-yard run, man. That was a 25-yard run. We're going to skip a couple of these because it's a little foggy. Going through the fog, even though it was a good place, that fog is something serious. So it's really not letting me show you exactly what happened. So, all right. As you can see, Kadarius Tony right here. A little offset play. Quick out routes. Continue to run those quick out routes with him, man. Continue to run those quick out routes. And look at him. He takes five yards, moves the sticks. That's what that does, man. Run, Keep running those quick out routes like that. Make them work. As you can see, Two receivers set on both sides. Four, four receivers set. That could be Saquon Barkley there. Look at him find the open spot in the zone. Trash should have threw it earlier, but when he threw it, he threw, it, threw him open in the middle of the field. That was a good pass. But he knows how to find the zone as well. So he's not just out there just to be a joystick. He's smart as well. He's seen that it was a zone coverage. Settled down in the spot that he was supposed to be in. Those two had a miscommunication. He was supposed to go back in his zone, but he was following the running back at the time. So he saw that. He settled down. And Trash hit him with a quick pass. Easy. Let's get the sticks moving. So he's smart as well. As you can see here, got him in a slide. Again, a five receiver set. If you want to be, it could be Galladay. Ingram, Shepard, Tony, Slayton. Easy. Or if you want to put John Ross out there, bring more speed, you can. We got so many weapons, it's, it's not even funny. But look at the next victim. Boom. Hits him with a route. I think that step is a little far wide. You don't have to get that wide in your step. But those are things that he's going to work on. Got to widen the step. Still got past the guy. Pass interference. I don't know if they threw the flag, but he was already grabbing. He was already beat because he was so scared. He's beat to the inside. Guess what? It's a party. You spread that defense out so wide that now it's a party. Nobody's back there to stop him from getting a touchdown. That could have been a touchdown for 300 yards. Good play, sir. There you go. All right. Trip set. As you can see, we got trip set. What are we going to do here? How are we going to use our weapon this time? Oh, quick screen. Okay. Now, great play by that DB there. He blew it up, but guess what? He didn't make the tackle. This is another element to his game. A little Tyreek Hillish. Get away from everybody. Did he score a touchdown on this play? No. If that block right there would have been better, he would have got more yards, but... He turned a, a negative three-yard play to about four yards. It's not a great play, but just to sh that just shows you his athleticism and what how much of a weapon he can be. Turned it into a positive. All right, we got Kadarius Tony right here. As you can see, great route concepts. Beats 
his man to the outside, got past the zone, found a little open field, grabs the ball. Now he gets popped by two people and gets about 10 to 15 more yards than he was supposed to get. That's what he does, people. That's what he does. Now, the route concept here, really, if we kept running, if it, it, the route concept, I was guess to get him deep and have Kadarius Tony come underneath him on a deep out. But if they run this route, if he runs this route this way, it's going to be a huge problem. But the concept was for this receiver to clear these two guys out and him to get behind the linebacker and the DB who was trying to zone underneath, which he does. Because this DB has him as a responsibility. He's to take him. If this DB goes back with Tony, you hit him. If these two guys cover up Tony, you still hit him and get your, get your yards. Or if this guy can beat his man from the get-go, if you're looking at him, hey, you might be able to hit him over the top. And this is Galladay here, so he's taking two people with him. So, But the concept worked where these two guys were confused, and they let Tony get behind them, so he hit Tony here. And the athlete that he is, they're both in position. He gets past both of them before he goes out of bounds and picks up an extra 15 yards. And we're in business. Good play. All right, got him back in the slot up here. Uh-oh, we got him in motion. Look, Garrett, put this man in motion, man. Got him in motion, got him the ball quickly. Makes a great move, good block, gets through there. Now, this is what I don't want to see. Yeah, I'm not just going to show you everything good. This is the last play. This is what I don't want to see. I don't want to see this. I don't want you so focused on making great moves and making great plays that you forget that the man is near you with the ball. Don't get careless with the ball because this happens. Causes turnovers. And that's what we do not need on this team. And that's what will get you in the doghouse. Plays like that. So that's what we don't need. We need you to make plays, but be smart with the ball. It wasn't a problem for him in college, but you got to expect with guys like that, it's going to happen every so often. But that, that, that was the film session on Kadarius Tony, man, what he brings to this team. He brings a lot to this team, man. He just does. He brings a heck of a lot to this team. Uh, he's an ultimate weapon. And I can't wait for him to be used in this offense. Jason Garrett, open up the offense, brother. Open up the offense, man. This guy could be used in many different ways. I just showed you right here. Just showed you. But once again, if you like what you see, hit that like. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell. And come chill with me in Big Fat Sports Talk Studios, man. We talk giants. We talk a lot of things right now. But I was happy to show you. The film room, the first player in the film room was our number one pick this year, Kadarius Tony, that we got at 20 after trading back after getting another first round pick and the third round pick. Thank you, Chicago. But hit that like, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell. And until the next episode, peace.